In today's video, we'll be comparing Adobe Scan, Microsoft Office Lens, Google Photo Scan, and Cam Scanner to see which of them is the very best document scanning app out there. If you enjoy mobile related content like this one, please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on all the pro tips that I'll be dropping in subsequent videos. Let's jump right in. Let's jump into the screen recording where we are going to look in detail into all the four apps to see which one has the feature that you need to enable you know exactly which of them to download and use in your day-to-day -day activity. To compare the different scanning apps, we'll start with Google Photo Scan. So we'll launch it. Now this is what the interface of Google Photo Scan looks like. There are very few user interface elements. Let's see what it's going to look like to scan a photograph using Google Photo Scan. So we tap on the shutter button. Now it brings out these four points where you take this round thing to match the four points. It makes use of the four points while taking the photograph to determine how to handle glare. As you can see, it's quite effective when it comes to removal of glare. All the glare that came in from the light source I'm using, that is my ring light here. And even from the phone touch has been eliminated and it gives us a very clean scan. So now let's see what it looks like to scan a, f a document using Google Photo Scan. So now I've placed a document on the table. Let's, let's go ahead and use Google Photo Scan to scan this document and see what the output is going to look like. So we now take this round thing to match all the four parts of the document to enable the, the Google Photo Scan to take accurate photographs of the four parts of the document. Now this is what the output looks like. Besides the buttons you have on the user interface in the scanning page, you have other buttons here that allows you to rotate the document if you so wish to adjust corners because as it is now the, the ability of the app to identify corners was not perfect so I'm not satisfied with what the corners look like. So I can tap on adjust corners then use the handle here to move the corner to where I feel is a better position for the corner of that particular page. So that is all for Google Photo Scan. Though it allows you to share, of course, sharing is standard among all apps. So it allows you to share the document after scanning. Uh, here you have feedback help and that is all. That is all. So I feel that uh, Google Photo Scan is the simplest of all the scanning apps. Let's take a look at Office Lens from Microsoft. So we tap on the Office Lens icon to launch Microsoft's Office Lens. And then we bring back the exercise book that we are using to represent a photograph. You can see that the Office Lens computer vision algorithm is actively trying to identify where the document is that you need to scan. And also, please take note that there are different scanning modes in Office Lens. There are different scanning modes in Office Lens. You have whiteboard, you have document, you have business card, you have, you have photo. So you can scan in any of these modes. Let's, let's use photo because, of course, we are using this exercise book to represent a photograph. So let's try to scan this in photo mode. Oh, that's all. So in photo mode, it just takes a photograph of whatever you are doing. And then you can decide to crop it to your own satisfaction. And if you notice that while cropping, it does not have the area where, where it allows you to see what you are doing while cropping. So there is always that tendency for you to not be able to crop properly. So now let's use a different mode now. At least we've seen what photo mode looks like and uh, I'm not very happy with that. So we can let's use uh, document mode. Now you see that the computer vision algorithm has identified where the document is we want to scan. We tap on the shutter button and see. Let's see how it behaves. Aha, uh -huh, this is a lot better. It automatically identifies the different corners of the document. And you have a toggle here. Let me adjust border after each scan. That is why it is like this. Ordinarily, if this toggle, let me adjust border after each scan, if it is turned off, it will not allow you to crop the document manually, it will just take a scan of that document and save it immediately. But I'm fine with being able to adjust it after each scan, though the computer vision algorithm did a good job here. So let's confirm. Yes, that gave us a very clean scan in document mode. So which means that document mode is better, is preferable in this case. And there are other modes as well. There are other modes as well. Let's take a look at uh, business card mode. Okay, it's the same thing as document mode. But it also gives you other features like cropping, 
you can actually type text on top of the scanned document because in this case i need you to subscribe so please hit the subscribe button if this video is useful to you and uh, besides typing text you can actually doodle on it so let's just pick a blue color and see what we can write subscribe aha uh -huh. so you can do that after scanning a document and so on it depends on what you want to do i leave the rest to you those are the features that are available in microsoft office lens so basically it scans whether it's a whiteboard whether it's a document whether it's a business card it does it scans and it does it in a very easy fashion and it also it, it's a bit flexible it allows you to type text on top of the scan document it allows you to doodle on top of the scan document and that is that for microsoft office lens the next scanning app we'll be looking at right now is adobe scan so let's launch that okay this is what the interface the scanning interface of adobe scan looks like and this seems to be quite smart trying to identify the corners of the document even without me initiating the scan it identifies the corner of the documents and scans the document so let me hit continue and see what the final output looks like okay final output seems quite clean the text is quite clean and we have other features like reorder in a case where you have multiple pages you have crop you have rotate in a case where you want to rotate the document you have color that is if you want to switch the color mode if you want it to be in the original color as taken by your phone camera this is what it looks like and then auto color this is what the system thinks that your document should look like and there are other color modes that you you can actually play around with so you have clean up in a case where you have some things you need to clean out from your document so let's give that a shot uh fill with surrounding color so i just want to clean up the bottom area of this document okay so in case where you have some imperfections in your scan you can use the clean up button to actually remove all imperfections in your scan documents to make it a lot more appreciable or professional let me use the word then you can resize and delete so those are the different actions that can be taken besides the basic feature of scanning so let's save pdf so let's try another one let's try the exercise book with the glossy back let's see how adobe adobe scan treats a glossy background document like a photograph or something of that nature okay now it has still been able to identify the corners of the document and taken a nice scan of the photograph in this case our exercise book and gives us a clean scan so you can now use the same tool that we used the other time to see how the final output is going to look and uh, so far I, I would say i'm satisfied with the output coming from adobe photo scan so let's save that and move on to the next one the next scanning app we'll be looking at is my personal favorite that is cam scanner so let's go in there let's launch cam scanner and see what the interface looks like now once you hit on the camera button on the bottom right it loads the camera and you see there are so many features that are available in cam scanner starting from starting from the powerpoint mode image to excel photo id ocr that is in a case where you need to extract the text from the document after scanning you have docs that is normal document scanning you have id card scanning you have book scanning question book and greeting card scanning and qr code but of course majority of people are going to use the document scanning so let's give that a shot and see what the output is going to look like okay the computer vision algorithm is trying to identify the corners of the document so there you have it uh, switch to the next page for me the beauty of the cam scanner is post processing of image it gives you very clean scan and it gives you options to choose what color mode you want the final product of your scan to be if you want to use the original as it came from the camera or if you want the cam scanner to lighten it for you or to use magic color magic color makes whites to pop even more to make it a lot neater than what it could have been originally so that is magic color then you have gray mode it is more or less a version of the original 
but all colors are turned to gray more or less and then you have black and white so but personally i leave it at magic color and if you want to further adjust the colors the brightness the contrast and the details in your document you still have that feature there it allows you to manually control everything that you want to control in this in the app so once you are satisfied with the output you can hit save so now let's see how cam scanner is going to handle the document with a glossy back probably with a lot of glare everywhere so let's give that a shot at least this time around it has been able to identify the corners of the book very properly and it cleans it up nicely and and i believe there's no need to adjust anything we just hit save now after saving a document you can still do a few other things to it you select the documents you can save to gallery you can move it you can upload print fax you can make a collage out of the documents you have etc so just looking at the available modes alone, you see that Cam Scanner is quite versatile compared to Google Photo Scan and even Office Lens. Cam Scanner is a lot more versatile and gives you a lot more options. Now you can choose to have a grid on your screen, you know, to enable you to center your document very well. You can even have uh, this thing, what they call a plum, to enable you know when your document is when you are holding your phone flat on the surface because there's a bubble, bubble on the top left if it is on the exact center of that circle that means that you are on the dead center your phone is it means that your phone is exactly horizontal so these little things this little attention to details by the cam scanner development team they did a very good job which i have to commend them for so that is that for cam scanner if this video was useful to you, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.